Hello friends, in my previous video I showed you how to allow user to update his password in Firebase app in Sketchver. Now here I will show you how to allow user to update his email address in Firebase app in Sketchver. I will be using this code and I will post a link in description for this website. So I will first show you the code which I will be using. This is the code which I copied and it defines a Firebase user called user as firebase auth dot get instance dot get current user this is this user and to this i update the email here we have to enter the email and then there is this method add on complete listener and inside this on complete listener it has this method add override public void on complete with a variable task this task is the variable and we do not need this non null if we use this it causes error in sketchware so i will just remove this now after that in on complete it is uses this code if task is successful then it logs user email address updated so in sketchware we can use show message to toast the same thing so here I will write show message user email address updated and if task is not successful here I will use else and inside this I will show a different message here I will show message error occurred okay unexpected error occurred so if uh, email is updated successfully it will show user email address updated else it will show unexpected error occurred Okay, now let's move to Sketchware. Yeah, this is my main page which contains a drawer view and this drawer has this text view email, text view underscore email whose text is change email address and on this page in the event text view underscore email on click I use intent to move to update password activity. Now let's move to update password activity. On this update password activity, there is edit text 1 for writing current email, edit text 2 for entering the new email address and button 1. And in components, there is Firebase auth component F auth. In the event button 1 click, first I check if length of edit text 1 is if length of edit text 1 is more than 0 and length of edit text 2 is more than 0. If any of these is not more than 0, means if any of edit text 1 or edit text 2 is empty, then I toast fill empty fields. Okay, and if length of both these are more than 0, then I check if edit text 1 get text equals Firebase auth get email. If edit text 1 get text equals Firebase auth get email, then I will be using the code which I showed you but if it is not equal then I toast current email not entered correctly okay so in order to use this code we have to get the new email address which the user has entered so here I will create a new string variable called new mail new mail and I will set this string new mail to edit text to get text in edit text to the user will enter the new email address and after that i will use an add source directly block and i will use this code now for using this code the firebase user either you have to write all the library from where you get it or you can do this you can put this f auth here firebase auth dot get instance is equal to the firebase auth component which is f auth in our case i created a firebase auth component f auth 
now this user is equal to f or dot get current user so i can use this here instead of the user i'll just paste it here now i can remove this part of the code okay and instead of this we can enter the string which represents our email so string is new mail this is equal to the new email address entered by user in edit text 2 now just copy this and i will use it here now let's check this okay so here is the app and currently i am logged in so i will just log out and log in to show you my present address it is aer at gmail.com and i will enter my password here and click on login so now i am successfully logged in now i will click on change sorry i will click on change email address and here i will enter my present email address which is ar at gmail.com and here i will enter the new email address ar2 at gmail.com and i will click on update it says user email address updated so now the user email address is updated and i can enter by I can log in by entering aer2 at gmail.com. So let's try this. Log out. And here I will change it to aer2 at gmail.com. Password will remain same. And click on login. So now also it, ent it logged me in successfully. So in this way we can allow user to change his email address. So that's all in this video. Thank you very much for watching this.